My name's Big Sick you. Welcome to this video on how to use a hydrometer. Now, a hydrometer is used to take readings from your booze, whatever it is you want to make, and using two readings, one before you've fermented it and one after you've fermented it, you can work out how much alcohol is in your drink. I've just put this beer together, it's a stout, so I'm going to take a sample in this, it's called a trial jar, holds 100 millilitres. Okay, so there is my sample of my booze. Now it's got sugars in there that we want to measure the density of the fluid. The density on the scale of your hydrometer, which is this thing, it's a glass, an enclosed glass tube with a, an airspace at one end that's weighted at this end as well and as you'll see there's a scale of numbers on it and the idea is you get your sample of your booze and you drop this into it now you'll notice that the scale on this one at least runs from 990 down to 1170. The gravity, which is what we're trying to measure, of water, just plain old water, is 1.000. Okay. That means if you have anything more than that, so for instance, if you have 1.020 there, that means you have sugars in your water and that's why it's giving a, a different reading of density because the sugars are in there they increase the density just like if you're in the Dead Sea you can't sink because it's got a density in that case of salt in our case of sugar you can't ferment salt okay so I'm gonna put this into here and I'm gonna take a reading let's do that now okay so I've put my hydrometer in just dropped it in I did it over the sink <laughs> because it, it, you might get some spillage when you do that also, when you've put your hydrometer in, you might get some bubbles on the top, just pull the hydrometer out again, give it a quick rinse off with co clean cold water, shake it off and drop it back in. Keep, just repeat that until you've got no bubbles on the top. Okay, so you want to look on the scale and see the level of the liquid, where does that show on the scale? So this one says one. 0.07 and it's actually sitting on the notch just down from that so that's 1072 and it's important when you're doing a hydrometer check if you can see the notch then that's not where the liquid is it's probably the one underneath or heading for that okay so we've got our initial hydrometer test 1072 now all we need to do is wait for this to be fermented and we'll take another reading and we'll see how much alcohol is in the brew. We'll do that next. So that's fermentation on my stout finished. Hope you don't mind the dogs busy eating our biscuits down there. So now we need to repeat the process we did to begin with which is take a measurement. Now you are sitting on top of the stout. There you are. Okay, so I've already taken a sample. Let's have a look. Okay, so here it is. Now, let's see if we can get you close in. Can you do this one-handed? Freestyle, baby. Mmm, 
motherfucker? You be freestyling that shit? Right, it's not it's not gonna be easy for you to tell, right? But anyway, I'll tell you. Right, so here's my sample in the trial jar. Remember, hydrometer, trial jar. Okay? So, sample's in there, and I've dropped my hydrometer in like I did to begin with. So, because the density of the liquid, i.e. in this case the beer, has reduced, it means that this hydrometer is now sitting lower in the trial jar. Before, of course, it was up here. Now, it's lower, because there's less sugar in the liquid, the sugar's been turned to alcohol by the yeast, and because alcohol has less density than sugar, that, which is weighted, sinks down to the bottom of the trial jar. So, what that means is if you do a brew, and you start off with it up there, and you ferment it, and it comes up there, you've done it wrong! Start again. It always sinks. Every time, unless fermentation hasn't taken place. It never goes up. Okay? So, in this case, it's come out at 1.020. For a beer, 1.020 is actually a little high, but this is a stout, and it's had two cans of barley malt extract put into it, as well as sugar, yada yada yada, okay? So for this particular beer, 1020, I'm happy with that. Most beers, you're looking for between 1.010 maybe, and 1.016, something like that. <clears throat> so that gives me 6.7% on the Richter scale. <laughs> Um, fuck, I lost my trail. I've lost my bastard thought process. Fuck's sake. Um, <coughs> what was I going to tell them? Oh yeah. Now with this application on Android, Android phones, tablets, whatever, you get this application called Zim Tools. Z-Y-M Tools. That's what I use, but you get various ones. You get various ones on iPhone as well. Windows phone, I haven't got a clue about, sorry. But there's websites as well. I'll put one across the bottom of the screen. Go to this website. You put in your starting gravity and your ending gravity. And then you click calculate and it tells you. Now it's going to ask you for temperatures. Depending on how much of a, a serious home brewer you are, don't bother your arse with the temperature. Okay? Really? <laughs> You're just a beginner at this stage. The temperature means fuck all at this point. Okay? Advanced home brewers are busy screaming at the screen now going, DON'T TELL THEM THAT! It makes no fucking odds at this point. <laughs> right. Anyway. OG minus FG, original gravity, minus final gravity. Bit of a calculation. There is a, a, a formula that I'm not going to bother telling you about because it's complicated as fuck. Um, that gives you your alcohol content. And what we're actually doing, <laughs> we're actually inferring how much alcohol is in there because of the loss of sugar. So the calculations, and this is a bit more complicated, the calculations that we're doing in this or on the website, or if you happen to get the equations and do it all yourself manually because you're a, a big brain boxy student person, you're actually assuming how much alcohol is in your brew based on how much sugar isn't there anymore. It's my understanding at least. Okay, so that's how you use a hydrometer. I hope you found that helpful, studenty studentson. Look out for my other videos. Please like, subscribe and favourite. I'll see you next time.